So coming in very late with a what I got for Christmas video. This is what I got for Christmas. <laughs> and welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me today um unfortunately there's gonna be no plus size clothing haul video this week uh just due to life and timings um i might do an update i don't know yet about everything that's going on i hate being that person that's like teasing whether i'm going to do so because i know youtubers and people do it all the time but it's just about like what i can say what i can't say um, but obviously it is affecting the channel a little bit so um, sorry about that but I thought you guys would still probably like to see what I got for Christmas even if I have no makeup on my face as well it's one of those days um, but don't forget to subscribe my videos are usually a bit a bit better than this um, so do subscribe if you haven't yet. Don't forget to ring that bell down below. And blah, blah, blah. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments what you got for Christmas. Um, I feel like this is you have to do the disclaimer. Um, this is not about bragging. It's just about showing you guys what I got for Christmas. It's a it's a it's a YouTube video. Everyone does it. <laughs> um, but I do like to know like what um everyone else got for christmas well me and my friend em we always um share a picture on christmas day of what we got for it's just a tradition it's just a tradition so yeah let me know down below um so where shall i start i'll probably start with uh, what hannah got me and also i'm not showing literally every single thing because i have put a lot of stuff away um so i've just picked out a selection of the stuff uh, to show you because otherwise it was going to be chaos so uh, this was the main gift from Hannah as you can see something very very nice from Jo Malone um, so if you didn't know this was the year or last year was the year I discovered uh, pomegranate noir I bought the perfume from uh, Juicy Free Gatwick and um, I just fell in love with it and I knew molly may her like favorite um oh god influenced um her favorite candle is the pomegranate now i kind of want i just i've never been a huge joe malone fan um and i'd never smelled pomegranate noir um but i knew it was a high one but i don't really like pomegranate smells but pomegranate noir is different so you get joe malone branded matches wow they're like black Lux. I haven't used this yet because I've been away quite a lot. Um, but she got me the candle, um, which I'm, I've not even opened it yet, guys. Um, but oh wow, what a lovely gift it comes with. A little lid. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I bought uh story time. I bought the Audi one, the small, what was it what, three pound or whatever it was, and it smells good when you smell the candle unburnt. But there's just no pro. It just was like I had a candle lit with no scent. Um, so while I appreciate the Audi dupes are like three quid or whatever, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but it's nice to have the original and I think it's going to obviously smell incredible. Um, another little thing and got me was this really, really cute ornament mug. This is from core home i've not heard of it before but i just love this it's very very pretty and she knows i love mugs but i need to put this now with my um christmas mugs because i have put them away um because i've worked my, my mug cupboard just gets overwhelmed very quickly it's quite a small area the mugs um and then i'm just showing you these because they're on the desk i've just been snacking on them uh these are actually we used to work with a Greek co-worker and she would bring these back from Greece, but they were like, um, I think like a chocolate hazelnut filling and we really liked them. Um, so these are salted caramel, um, caramel wafers. So they look like this and mm, they do smell really good. So I've been, uh, I just keep them on my desk if I fancy something with coffee in the little afternoon pick me up um she also got me because we do go quite big for christmas so she got me like lots of oh she got me a 
um i just broke my bloody nail didn't i she also got me a body shop set i've unsetted the set so this is just it came with a the cleanser that's like balm cleansing balm um an eyeliner but she says she really likes this mascara the happy go lash it's in really cute packaging i don't want to open it because then it's been opened or have i have i no i haven't opened it yet so um, i don't want to open it because then you have to use it um so <laughs> Um, but I'm very excited to try that when I get around to a new mascara. I am oh, such a mascara hoarder. I hoard it for days. And then she got me a glass house. It was like a mini perfume and a body lotion. And it's normally they make candles, but they also do fragrances. But she saw it on, what was the girl's TikTok? She's Australian. She does and anna anna she goes traveling around the world and she loves their fragrance and that's what she saw that made her buy me that um so that's in my like perfume <laughs> everything's everywhere uh but that's i think majority of what hang on because sorry if i've forgotten anything else um then from bex and her partner dave this is my favorite bedroom diffuser um it's the rituals uh rice milk and cherry blossom i find this really relaxing i do like lavender but sometimes it can be a little bit overpowering this scent is so so delicate um so i have i had this when i first moved in but but i had a refill of the bottle and i can't find it for the life of me anywhere uh, but this comes in this beautiful beautiful it's like ribbed it's so nice um and yeah she knows how much i love the smell so she got me there and i love it um and then she got me this like huge tin of like lint chocolates it was all like different ones like um the balls, Santa's, reindeers, all sorts. Um, and you can like refill it like every Christmas, which I loved. Um, then from M and Liv, they went to this, it's, it's not, who owns Cowshed? Is it Soho House? Soho House had this like motel and they went there. I really want to go there. Um, and they went there and they had Cowshed products and Emily and <laughs> Emily and Liv fell in love with them. Um, so I think they got me this to try. It's a calming shower gel, calming body lotion and invigorating shower gel. And they're really nice, cute minis for like travel and stuff. And just to try that stuff, but it's just so cute. It's like one of those little like ornaments. And I do love travel stuff because I travel a lot. Um, but the piece de resistance is this. Um, and if you guys don't know, I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan. Um, I love Gilmore Girls and Em saw this and was like, we have to get that for Becky for Christmas. It's the official cookbook. No unofficial cookbooks here, folks. Um, so I have an idea. I kind of want to like do... I don't know if any of you are interested, but I want to like try some recipes from the cookbook for like a YouTube video, like maybe trying three different recipes because obviously you've got Luke's diner and you've got Suki and her chef skills. And then you have, what's the mum's name? Um... Oh yeah, Emily and Richard, because they have like that fr the Friday night dinner, don't they? With all the kind of like fancy um, food. So there's like loads of food references in Gilmore Girls. So let me know if you're interested. Um, and if you love Gilmore Girls too, because this would also make a great gift for someone that loves Gilmore Girls. So that is super cute. Anita, I'm thinking of taking this picture down and putting shelves up for books because where am I putting books? I don't know. Uh, so up next is what JP got me for Christmas. Uh, so I'm gonna put a picture on the screen because actually it's a key ring, so I can't show it you guys, but it's a Jacquemus um, key ring, which is so cute. It's of the little like, um, 
bag the little like famous handbag and he also got me matching earrings uh which was really nice and then he got me this so he knows i love the dior book tote and like the dior do they call it treasure treasure -ly design um but <sighs> just anything design is just so so expensive and I think like the Dior book tote now is like three thousand pounds <laughs> so I think mean, he was like ah. and then he press um so he just picked this off out of it was press uh you got it like personalized with my name on it but um I really like it it's a really nice size it's got little pockets inside as well and also with makeup bag you don't want to spend a lot of money on a makeup bag for you to get makeup all over it um so it's perfect it's a little wiped down and actually to be honest it's like really nice quality uh for something bought on a shady website <laughs> um so then uh up next is what mum and dad got me for christmas so there was a couple of things basically um that just took forever and a day to arrive there was a lot of postal strikes there was all sorts going on over christmas so that's unfortunately why i couldn't get this video up um sooner was because i was waiting for uh, some of the presents to arrive still um so pat mcgrath had a, an amazing deal on before christmas and mum said like oh i want to get you a couple more presents like let me know if there's anything you want before christmas and i saw this offer and i've been trying obviously London, i haven't been buying much if at all any makeup um, so there were a couple of i never normally ask for makeup for christmas or birthdays because i buy a lot of it myself um, but there was such a good deal on pat mcgrath's website that and mum you know mum would buy me a couple more presents so i let her know um so i got the um what do they call oh it's on here this is the mothership nine utopian dream look at the packaging it's insane and then this is the mothership 10 um moonlit seduction so fun fact if you love taylor swift um this is the palette that pat mcgrath used on her for the album art of the latest album um but they had a sale on the website 40 percent off i don't know if you had to spend over a certain amount but for the majority of the time the discounts also work on bundles um so they have a palette bundle for 170 pounds these palettes are 115 pounds each guys they're not cheap um i i found one at tk tk max once and that blew my mind that's where i bought one and my other two i bought off depop uh for like 45 pounds each I, I think i got them for a really good price so i've never ever ever paid full price for these palettes um so the bundle was 170 and then with the discount it came to 109 pounds so it was cheaper than buying one palette on its own uh which is insane and these um, i've wanted these two palettes they are absolutely gorgeous her eyeshadows are insane um so this is the more colorful palette it's all very like shifty and all these shades these three shades down here are kind of like a really interesting texture um but it's just beautiful and like i think this is going to be a really nice spring palette just with those pinks and purple tones um so yeah but this if i could only pick one palette this would be the one i got would have got um it's absolutely gorgeous i know i'm talking about all this makeup um while wearing not a slick of it um all the palettes do look the same so i do keep all the palettes in the packaging because the packaging is stunning so the only makeup item i actually keep in its packaging um but this one is gorgeous so this shade here is the shade that taylor swift had on her eyes um this one's a bit more neutral and you can probably wear it a lot more kind of every day um and the mattes are quite staple i will say pat mcgrath mattes she always goes for really really dark mattes um and they're very very pigmented and they do 
come up like they always kind of go a bit darker than in the pan which is the only issue i have is that the eye looks i do with pat mcgrath palettes are always quite dark um but the shimmers are so bright and shiny so i personally buy pat palettes or get pat palettes uh for these special shades um but i do tend to find the mattes do complement them quite nicely so um you can always pair them with anything you have in your collection but if i'm honest i do just tend to use the palettes because <laughs> i just think well if i've got this whole palette i need to damn well use every inch of it um and then i another eyeshadow palette i know um this is the anastasia glam to go palette uh as you know i've said this just now uh i travel a lot um so this i just thought would be so perfect for me in traveling all my colors and i've been really really getting into the new abh formula and their palettes and stuff they're really nice and the packaging's got like glitters in it i don't know if you can see um but i really really like it and i'm actually about to go to london for a few days um then some booties um i don't know i've not tried them on yet i literally got them yesterday uh, I don't want to put them on the desk because does that count as a table? I don't know. But these are a replacement for the literally exact same ones I bought two, three years ago. They stink. <laughs> they absolutely smell. The cream inside is now grey. And also, this is an upgrade because it's got a way thicker sole. Um, these are, I think... <laughs> They're the same price as when I bought them. They are just under 100. I think they're like 99, 98 pounds. Uh, they're like a black suede, uh, flat Chelsea boot. They're just really comfortable. They go with everything. You can dress them up, dress them down. I do tend to find them like a little bit wide fit friendly. I don't have the widest feet, but I also don't have regular feet either. Uh, so I do struggle. Um, they also do them in a brown, I believe, as well. Um, I just like the black ones. They just go with everything. Um, and I, I'm not, I love clothes. You know, you guys know me, I love clothes, 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 and makeup, 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 makeup. But shoes, I just, I struggle with like, I don't know, buying it. It's just a lot of money, you know, a lot of money and nothing, none of them ever fit properly. Little bits and bobs. Um, my mum bought air tags for everyone. So she bought a four pack and then everyone got one. So this is on my keys and I love it. Um, I definitely want to pick up some more. I just like how air tags are integrated with iPhone software. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine. It's currently on and I can hear it. I'm not shut the door. So sorry if you can hear that. This, this video is all over the place these are hilariously huge um so i love fruit jellies and my mum decided to buy me a lot of them so these are finished ones and you think that that is just for like you know normally type this like serving suggestion or whatever or so you know the size isn't as it appears on the packaging or whatever no these are huge look how big we have tucked into them over christmas so these are all i have left oh that one needs to go there um these are all the ones i have left and um, they are quite nice they are very very sweet very very sugary um they're not like i don't think they're actually made with any fruit at all i think they're literally more jelly than anything else um then this was another kind of a bigger gift uh this is the is it how do you say dj DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Um, this is basically a, a very, very fancy uh, selfie stick. It is a free axis stabilization, quick launch, portable and foldable, active track, built in extension rod, smartphone stabilizer. <laughs> it's very cool it has a lot of features i bought this well i i picked this out for youtube um specifically i had planned on buying it for ages and i was like please tell me what you want for christmas so 
um ideally it would have been really good for vlogmas and mum said do i want this for vlogmas but i wanted to open something on christmas day so <laughs> waited for it uh, i think there's going to be a bit of a learning curve with it though so um i they have loads of tutorials apparently online so i really need to kind of like sit down for an afternoon and like maybe go out and do a bit of just kind of like random filming with it just to kind of get to grip get to grips with it then mum also got me some of um, my favorite drunk elephant uh this is the tangle spray however obviously since getting my hair done uh, my hair's a lot less tangly but if you had hair like mine previously and you don't want to get this treatment then this is probably the best tangle spray i've ever used it, it isn't cheap um this drunk elephant so <laughs> i think it's 19 pounds but a bottle probably lasts me sparingly, like six months, so. Um, and she did pick this up before I decided to get the treatment. This is the leave-in uh, conditioning milk. Um, but I still think I could still use it now, but probably just way more on the ends. Like, I am, oh, I do get, like, so much more shiny. I think it is, it doesn't feel greasy. It just looks a little bit greasy. Doesn't really smell of anything. A little bit maybe um but this the tangle spray smells so good um and then she got me this cute little plate i need to find a place for this this is from john louis jean louis and then i think is everything else just lots and lots of chocolates and things um some hotel chocolat liqueurs which i have yet to bust into um some winter pudding hotel chocolates um just lots of like uh, oh 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 uh, these are what i'm really looking forward to these are proper like pate de fruits whereas the finlandia ones are more jelly this is made of 70% fruit purees. You've got pear, I love pear sweets. Raspberry, apricot, blackcurrant and mango. Wow. They sound so good, but you literally only get 10. Wow. <laughs> Very bougie, but they sound so delicious. Um, and then I did get a gift card from uh, my granddad um so yeah that is everything um for this year uh, obviously super super grateful for all the thoughtful presents um i now have to put all of this away <laughs> um but do let me know down below what you got for christmas i'm always super super curious and interested um it's always good as well to get a bit of an idea of like what you can ask for yourself but i will say uh definitely recommend air tags they're really really cool um definitely want to get some more of them i also see that apple have got a charger that you can like stick to the back of your phone have any of you got it and it's, i think it's about 100 pounds it's a big investment for like a uh like portable charger uh but have yeah have you got it uh do you think it's worth the money i don't know but uh yeah let me know if you have any advice there uh but yeah that is the end of the video huge thank you to all my friends and family for all these lovely goodies um i hope you don't mind the the late late video either but yeah that's everything i'll see you very soon bye